Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.6 with Kerbalism. In this episode we're going to begin with some rescue missions but not just rescue missions. Just like last time we're going to take advantage of our recently rescued Kerbals in order to conduct some missions. I've noticed that we have a rescue Fobri from Orbit of Minmus, uh, Jessely from Orbit of Minmus, we have an active contract for Sherber from Orbit of Minmus. Uh, you can see where we're going here. Um, and there's even a uh, gem cow from the surface of Minmus. So what I want to do is milk science from Minmus. Uh, so we're not going to just rescue them. We're going to rescue them and have them perform the EVA and surface samples on Minmus, bring those back. We unfortunately don't have much other science. We still have got the thermometer, barometer, and the Geiger counter. Um, we'll take a look at the tech tree to see if we can get some more of those. But uh, let's get Jessely here. I mean, we need more Kerbals anyway. Um, we lost two early on, so. Um, Fobri. And it doesn't look like there's a limit to the three star ones. So let's just get Gem Cal as well. They do give us plenty of time to rescue them. It'll take two missions. I suppose we should get Science Day from Surface of Minmus. We're obviously going to be aiming to do that. Uh, we're not doing the Surface Outpost yet. It's it's sort of a little bit of a repeat of last time. I know I'm, I generally avoid doing that, but uh, I think this will be good. Given the contracts that we're getting, it's unavoidable. Now, as far as science is concerned, uh, we want something new this uh, accelerometer is probably the thing but we need 300 science for that so that'll be on the second mission trying to send that over we hope to rescue a scientist because the mission I've put together contains two goo containers and I want the scientist to be able to reset those but um, we'll see other than that, I don't think I'm going to pick up anything just yet. We might as well save our science for unlocking things with more science, basically. Okay, so this is the mission I put together. And it's probably overpowered for our current purpose, but that's fine. Uh, I called it Fluffy. I was thinking of something with uh, to do with three. And, and for some reason, the... The um, Hagrid's dog from Harry Potter just came to mind. The three-headed dog, yeah. Uh, and of course, I was looking for something with three because we have three boosters, and we're using the skipper plus some thud engines on the core stage, and there are three thud engines as well in lieu of um, fins, basically. And it is sort of uh, expensive rocket for the purpose, but it'll it, it looked it looked good. So uh, we have a terrier here, and then of course a uh, what you call it um, spark engine there for the landings and the landing stage has 2600 meters per second and should be able to handle minimus gravity just fine we can see the goo containers uh, plenty of oxygen there is life support supplies in the center of this which is attached to the spark engine and if we take a look at our life support we see oxygen 60 days um, food 70 water 60 so that's good uh, unfortunately I'm not packing the humidifier uh, so we're not getting any humidity uh, that's because if we take a look now we have the Kerbalism category uh, this is 0.45 tons so it's pretty heavy compared to the size of the mission now one thing I haven't done is I forgot to put the shielding on let's put the shielding on that cuts down our Delta V dramatically hmm Maybe, maybe half shielding is okay, but the difference between half shielding and no shielding, we'll see this five hours on the inner belt. This is just one day and three hours, which is basically double. Um, so it does double the time, but compared to maxing it out, maxing it out is five times just the halfway. So between here and here, just five times the benefit and uh, from zero to halfway it's uh, just two times to benefit maybe I'll just do halfway anyway It'll, what's the total Delta V difference 8779 if we do halfway that cuts out like 300 meters per second which is the trip back basically and then another 300 meters per second to max it out I'll give it halfway 
All right. Okay, throttle up, SAS is on. We've got a double staging here. We've got the engines and then the boosters. And ignition and launch. Okay. Oh, comms. Gosh darn it. It's possible that once we get to Minmus, we will reacquire something. I suppose. Now that we've launched, there's no going back. I'm not reverting, that's for sure. Okay, booster set. All nice and clean. Yeah, I've overdone it on this rocket. That's not great. Because we're going to be wasting some. Okay, we are doing an off-plane transfer. Okay, well that's a nice enough pass for now. Um, we're not trying to rendezvous with anything in particular just yet. There's Fobri's craft, which is really low. Jessely's Hulk is also pretty low. Sherber's up there. We already rescued Deffen, so we don't have to go for the highest one there. And then on the surface, uh, Gemcal is down there. Not that that's really hard to correct inclinations around in this, but anyway. So this is our plan. Let's get the solar panels out. This area actually looks pretty good on the bottom of this. All right, ignition. Still have communication out here, but down to 50% right there. It's like just barely gonna lose connection before we hit Minmus. That's annoying. What's the stated range of the Gemini pod? It doesn't say, oh, four, uh, 5,000. Is that five kilometers or 5,000 kilometers? Hmm. Wow. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, wow. We just... Okay, okay. We've got a tiny, tiny bit of communication. Let's just point retrograde. Two percent through Minmus Station. Hmm. Well, we need to get a Kerbal on board as soon as possible. But before that, obviously, making orbit would be helpful. Let's start that. Even at this horrible inclination. Well, we packed a lot of extra fuel, so... Okay, we have captured... And we actually have a tangency to the target orbit, though that's a heck of a inclination change. We'd rather not do it over there, but it depends on where we have communication. Yeah. Well, let's plot it there for now, just in case that's where we have communication. So Minma Station is there. We're probably going to lose communication with Minma Station once we get over here, though. Yeah. There's a Minmus probe here, but I don't think it has a relay dish on it. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, maybe it's not fine. Ooh, our periapsis is too low. Oh, crud. We're in trouble. 2.85 kilometers. I don't know if we're going to clear the terrain. I didn't pay attention to that. Well, anyway, this was obviously fatally flawed with the lack of comms, so. All right, let's try it again and do it better. Okay, here we go again, this time armed with four Communitron 16s, throttle up, SAS is on. I'll try not to belabor this particular trip to Minmus since we already know that the rocket can do it. Ignition, and launch. Okay, booster set. That's orbit. Alright, uh, we'll use this fuel, I guess. We'll just proceed. Alright, separation, and ignition. 
Okay, we're in Minmus SOI now, and we're going to make orbit around Minmus, assuming communications go well. Um, taking a look at where our node is, it should be fine. Uh, I thought about bringing nitrogen to refill the station. Of course, that would require a docking port up here, and we'd have to use radial parachutes. But um, taking a look at uh, our nitrogen is going pretty darn quickly. In six days, we've lost 100 units. And uh, somebody in the comments noted that the values for the nitrogen depletion or resources in general sort of changed between one version of Kerbalism and another. Basically, there was some sort of mistake in the version of Kerbalism I was using and things got adjusted and speculated that the reason our station had a problem was because uh, it was from the older version, right? We had launched it. When I had the old version in it and when they upgraded um, it sort of had a problem because uh, we had the new version now and the numbers didn't quite match. Um, that doesn't quite explain how quickly we we're losing nitrogen here and yeah I mean a hundred units in six days is quite a lot but I mean of course it does uh, you know that said it does agree with um, the estimates for how long it would last Let's just verify. Um, nitrogen, 124 days. So yeah, I mean, six days, 5% of it gone, 20 times that is 124 days, yeah. So that's correct. Not too sure I liked the nitrogen management aspect of this. The trouble with nitrogen is, at least in real life, it's tough to get it. Um, that's why hydrazine is not a very good in situ resource utilization thing, right? We keep talking about using methane and oxygen or hydrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen is tough to get in situ. And maybe that's not true with Kerbalism. Especially since it goes away even when we don't have Kerbals on board, right? The thing is, we should be able to like depressurize this and then just pressurize so I, I'm just gonna see the does the nitrogen just stay in the tanks and not get consumed with if we depressurize this mm, that is that good enough to depressurize it seems like it doesn't consume okay well so that's that's probably our solution maybe that's the thing we need to make sure that we depressurize our stuff when we don't need it to be pressurized. And that was the problem with the station. I think I can deal with that. When we leave things uncrewed, we need to depressurize so that we don't deplete the nitrogen. Well, right there we have Minmus Station 1 and Minmus Probe. It's sort of weird seeing everything so close by after, you know, experiences in Earth orbit where it's very much not like this. And having the rendezvous over here is good for communications, so. Okay, that's Fulbury right there. God, there's a lot of things. Valid, oh, the, and Jesley's right there. So if we could do this quickly, Mimis is a popular destination for Kerbals. Despite their lack of leg muscle, they get to jump around a whole lot, you know. Okay, uh, why don't you just stabilize and let's have Fobri get out. The capsules are always spinning. Okay, grabbed and bored. Fobri is a scientist. Well, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay. Jessely, it is time for Jessely. Jessely's in a one, Mark one pod here, and Jessely's an engineer, which is fine. We like engineers too. Oh, oh, why is that pod? Oh, maybe. Uh, nope. You stop. Stop. Okay. 
Okay, grab and board. All right, we've got two Kerbals. You know, it occurs to me that depositing them, depositing them on the station is probably not viable because of the station's lack of nitrogen. At least it wouldn't be comfortable for the long term. Why don't we just proceed? Um, we won't pick up uh, the Kerbal that's on the surface this time. Gemcal. Let's get some surface science and and then return with these two and then launch another mission to get the other two and uh, further get science. Uh, since we have a scientist on board, we can reset the, the mystery goose. Okay, well, uh, let's see. Which flags do we plant before? We have lesser flats. Where's the other one? Midlands and lowlands. Okay. Lesser Flats, Midlands, and Lowlands. Right now we're over the Greater Flats and we're pretty darn low. So let's just... The thing is we've got to be wasting Delta V, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm worried about the nitrogen. I don't know how long they can last without a pressurized environment. So we'll just proceed like this. We're clear of the Hulk and Fobri's craft. But I actually want negative surface. Uh, it seems to be fine too. Oh, we went to Lowlands. No, no. Get back to Greater Flats, please. Whoa, that pod was really dangerous. But uh, over here. We need to go over here. Okay, let's... Maybe pitch a little bit to get rid of that so that it doesn't fall directly under us. Off. Good. Well, very little horizontal speed there. Well, no, it's growing. I was impressed for a sec at how little horizontal speed we had. Okay, go down, go down. That should be good enough. Yep, a little bit of a bounce. Okay, we don't really have ladders or anything, so Fobri's gonna have to get back in without knocking stuff. Uh, let's get a uh, crew report. Uh, we can transmit that. And that will fulfill the contract, science data from the surface of Minmus. Wonder what just crashed. Oh, radiation scan is not bio-independent. Well, that sucks. All right. Well, temperature scan is. Let's keep that. Let's get one mystery goo. Record, Fobri EVA, and you can just flop down, flop, don't knock anything. All right, EVA report, keep. We need to make sure that we mark the fact that we were here so that we don't do the same thing over. Oh no, there's no mod propellant. Hmm. Well, that means she's going to have to jump, and that's horrible. Jumping is not the best way to try and do this, but I guess it's, it's what we have to do. Okay, I I I didn't realize we didn't pack any mob propellant. And there should have been mob propellant initially. Okay, well, uh, Fobri at the Greater Flats. Where's my mono propellant? Indeed. I mean, it's bad enough not having a ladder. We don't have a ladder because we haven't unlocked ladders, so that's somewhat unavoidable. Okay. Oh, that, that jump was not good. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I can tell already this is going to be a pain. Okay, no, no. Oh, oh no, not that. <laughs> uh, somehow she can take data from the pod but not grab on. The fact that Kerbals are incapable of long jumps is not helpful right now. Okay, 
climb, 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 board, board, climb, climb, board. Yes. Okay, we got Phoebe back in. Well, I'm afraid we're not gonna be doing any more. We have to go back and unlock ladders. <laughs> we are not doing that again. Okay. I mean, we uh, as an emergency possibility, I could have retracted the panels and try and turn this horizontal to get Fulbury back in. I thought of that. Um, that would have been dangerous too, in a different way. I don't know if the reaction wheel in here is strong enough to tilt it back after we do that. But let's complete the rescue contract and then we're gonna have to unlock some ladders. And we're gonna have to add some supplementary mod propellant apparently, because we don't have any in here. All right, back to orbit. Shame wasting the Delta V, but... Oh, it occurs to me they've been in an uh, unpressurized environment the whole time. And the habitat says pressurizing, but we aren't. Um, so they're not particularly happy right now, are they? Just out of curiosity, are they the type of Kerbal that likes unpressurized environments? No, comfort poor. Let's see. So, pressurization is running. Habitat, apparently it didn't lose pressurization. So it's not sucking up nitrogen really quick like it did on the station. Hmm. Well, that's important to note. So maybe that was the station's problem because of the upgrade to Kerbalism. Look at these little things all in a row. Clowman debris, I mean, somebody had mentioned that I should clear up those wrecks, I should. Then again, it's sort of funny. Okay, let's double check that there are resources in the pod. There are. Turn normal. Separate off the service module. And surface. There we go. Okay, deploy shoot. And splash down. That was pretty quick. All right, and recover. And so we got 112.7 science, not including what we recovered. I mean, what we transmitted. And Fulbri and Jessly gained eight experience points and are at level one. And it's, it's, we've got the whole scatterer thing going on here. Uh, let's get ladders. <laughs> I think, I think that would be a good idea. Where's the uh, mission control research and development? Okay, ladders. I'm sold. Let's get ladder. What's this? A greenhouse too and a gravity ring. Crew capacity is six on the gravity ring and has potential upgrades. So, you know, uh, I think so if our station really is bugged, I'm not sure about that, but if it is uh, because of the upgrade to Kerbalism, we might just want a new station. In which case, maybe one with a greenhouse and a gravity ring would be a good idea. It's a thought. And also a mobile processing lab. Yep, the works, if you will. And a tranquilizing vortex to big enough crude parts. I don't know what that's all about. But it's there. So, okay. But I will save the rest of the science. I still... Well, we can't really unlock these because we have to upgrade the R&D building first. But maybe this one would be nice. We could have unlocked it this time if we didn't need the ladders. But I think it's safe to say we need the ladders. Okay, so we have the new and improved Fluffy with ladder. And also mod propellant tanks right here and on the opposite side. So 15 units all together, because I don't know why this pod doesn't have mod propellant. I think that with Kerbalism requiring mod propellant for EVA, uh, probably every capsule should automatically have enough mod propellant for the occupants to use their EVA packs. Because otherwise you have the situation where we rescued Kerbals, they started with mod propellant, right? They had to have had mod propellant to EVA to the pod in the first place, and then they dumped the mod propellant from their suits uh, from the EVA packs when they got in because there was no mob repellent containment. So yeah, at the very least, 
the pods should have enough for the occupants to be able to EVA, I think. And so, yeah, uh, I'm tempted to actually make a patch for this uh, capsule to make sure it has that. But anyway, not right now. We're just head to Minmus again, and we're going to rescue the other two Kerbals. So, ignition and launch. Okay, booster set. All good. Okay, and there we have it. Let's figure out the transfer to Minmus. Okay, so we will be doing an off-plane transfer this time. Uh, we're trying to get to Sherber's pod, which is actually in a high orbit. Set and ignition. Okay. Wow, we've got a lot of weird encounters there. Let's see. It'll have to be like that. And then we'll have to do another correction once we get there. On the bright side, I think there's some sort of encounter forming here. So maybe we'll get a direct burn to encounter our target. That'll be good. Oh, and we should turn off. Well, now now what I want is for pressure control to start off stopped. I guess I'll have to do that in the VAB each time. But yeah, that'll save the nitrogen. We've lost communication. And we've reacquired. Okay, and I think we've got a direct line. That's good. There is Sherber. Okay, well, I started this a little bit late. This thing doesn't turn that well. Nor does it have that much acceleration. You know, I should have dumped 10 mob propellant out from the tanks since they'd be bringing some mob propellant in. Sort of a waste of mob propellant. Okay, point one is fine. All right, Sherber. Sherber is a pilot. Oh, red hair too. Okay, board, well, grab, board. Even though it sometimes tries to show you B for board, most of the time you have to grab first. Okay, well, now we have to land where our other Kerbal is. Right down here. Gemcal's debris. Well, to do that, we're going to have to do some inclination change. We're here, and it doesn't real the descending node doesn't really matter. Let's bring our orbit down first, and then we'll see. Inclination changes on. We got to have to ditch this stage in order to land anyway, so. Okay, are we got we're not gonna bump into the pod. Let's get some pressure in the cabin. Especially since Sherber already has the helmet off, you know. Is this Yeah, uh wait. Yeah, that'll be fine. Um I think we'll have communication at the landing site if we take a look at our green line going out. Right at Gemcal's debris, we, sh we should have communication there. It'll be nighttime though, that's the downside. I mean, pretty much we can stop on a dime, so having a lot of lead distance doesn't hurt. Midlands. I don't... have we done Midlands before? Greater Flats, Great Flats. I know we did Lowlands. Yeah, we've done Midlands before. Maybe not the goo container? Not sure. Okay, well, it says 435 meters there. Let's see how right it is. Seems like quite a slope. You know what? We gotta make Gemcal walk a little bit. I mean, 
As long as it's two kilometers, it's fine, right? I would like... No, not there. More like on the top of this ridge. Darn it, Gemcal. Well, Mimmus. Mimmus is Mimmus. Even if we, like, tip over, we could probably right ourselves, right? I have so many bad memories of having my pod tip over that any slope gives me... Gives me the chills. Okay, Sep. Hopefully our spin stage does not actually land on, Gen on, on Gemcal. That would be bad. Okay, we are here. Ladder down. Let's see. Probably we've done the science already. Yeah. Well, radiation scan is not biome dependent though. Well, we've done the temperature scan and crew report. We've done. All right. Uh, oh, Gemcal is just wandering around. Gemcal, you really should be inside your pod until, well, the pod's rolling around. I don't blame Gemcal. Oh, uh, do take the EVA report. Ah, yeah, we've done it before. Surface sample, even the surface sample we've done before. And we know we've been to the Midlands before, so this biome's a bust. Maybe, maybe the goo. Yeah, uh, some of the foot pads are definitely not down. Hmm. Well, Gemcal's gonna try and climb up anyway. Come on, Gemcal. What? We've got a ladder here. There we go. Just went through the ladder the first time. Okay, Gimcal's in. And this is not a useful biome. So, and Gimcal is a what? Scientist. Good. Well, let's see. Was there a mystery goo? Well, actually the mystery goo does count, so we'll keep that. Record. Good. Now, where does it look like it's another biome? I think we should go polar and just wait for rotation to bring us to another biome. We'll just keep the legs out and the ladder out. We're planning to make further descents. Okay, poles. Let's kill surface velocity here and land at the poles. Too bad there isn't a separate North Pole and South Pole, but can't have everything. And it's not like Mimis is short of biomes. Okay, coming down. All right. Bit of a wiggle. But we're at the poles, so crew report. Uh, keep. We don't have any benefit to transmitting right now. Okay, radiation. Well... Let's just double check. All right, yeah, nothing new on radiation. Temperature, keep. And um, where is our goo? Goo, re uh, goo report, okay, I guess. Keep, yes, record. Let's have uh, Gemcal do the EVA as the scientist. Okay, EVA report, keep. Surface sample, 84 points, keep. Plant a flag. Okay, Gamcal at the poles. Mm. I don't know what to say, it's fine. Proceed. All right, we have transferred data. And let's see, we'll continue southward, technically. Um, I wonder if that's like the same way we were going or different now. Tough to say once you're at the pole. Hmm. All right, onward. To be honest, i not that interested in hitting too many more this time. 
Yep, I definitely feel like I've seen too much of Mimis today already. But Okay, we have landed. It's not so bad. It's not so bad as far as the slopes are concerned. All right, crew report. Keep. Thermometer reading. Keep. And, well, it is time for a scientist to reset one of these. Restore goo container. Okay, observe mystery goo. All right, keep record. We can uh, restore this. Well, okay, we can't quite reach that one. That's fine, we can keep restoring this one. Doesn't matter if we restore the other one. Surface sample and EV report. Plant a flag. Gamcal at the Highlands. Verify that all our goo science is there. Yes, it is. And two surface samples. You know, that's quite a lot of glory for this pair. I'm wondering whether I should go polar or just go equatorial in order to, well, not really equatorial. We're still down here. Okay, we'll keep going northward because going equatorial doesn't make sense. We'll at least reach the equator. All right, up. I suppose there is slopes, right? There's uh, Minmus' slopes, I recall. Oh, I'm going too far again. But that's usually close to the flats. That flat we've got, the lesser flats there. I don't know if this is part of the lesser flats or not. We'll see. Okay. So that looks like that right now. Then we'll see what we hit. Oh, I missed slopes, but those aren't the slopes I'm looking for. Hopefully this slopes around here. Mm, not really. Lesser flats. Well, that's the same as that one, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Slopes around here. Feels rather slopey. Or is it just all part of oh, lowlands? Hmm. Okay, wait. Uh, I, I wonder if I should boost back to the slopes back there. At least I know there's slopes over in that direction. We could continue in this direction and try and go over here, but that might not be the right slopes. So yeah, let's just head backwards and go over there where the slopes definitely were. Oh, wait, wait here. Okay. Stop. You know what? I don't think we have enough to get back if we try this landing. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. That's overly ambitious on the Delta V right now. So I'm going to point prograde and make orbit, and then we'll just have to come back for slopes some other time. I've been doing too many fancy maneuvers here. All right, standard return periapsis is confirmed, and we're on our way out. Electric charge is fine. Okay, time to separate off the stage. Check the resources, that's good enough. All right, separation. After this, really, I feel like it's time to send Kerbals to another planet. If they would deign to give me a contract for that, that'd be nice. I mean, how many Kerbals do we have to rescue from Minmus before they stop giving us those contracts? Give us a contract to rescue somebody from Duna. 
really put our life support skills to use, huh? I suppose it'd be a good idea to get some alarms in if we want to go to other planets. I'm pretty adamant about that. It's time- ooh, Eve is in five days. Not that we can land somebody on Eve, but Gilly's there. I'll make it- I'll make Drez a candidate. But it looks like Eve with the Gilly option. And that seems to be the best bet. Okay, deploy shoot. Full parachute deployment. Barely gets us decelerated in time, really. It's a pretty harsh parachute, 9 meters per second. We need to put more parachutes on this next time. Okay, though I think the Apollo capsule is descended at 9 meters per second anyway. Okay, 252 science earned from that. And we were relatively close to the KSC, 91.3% returned. And of course, level 1 for both of our Kerbals. So, uh, next time we'll probably take a look at the tech tree to see how to spend the science points. And we are totally clear of contracts. So, well, Explore Ike is a contract that I would like. Let, let's just pick that up. Harvest food in space. Ah, deploy the greenhouse. Maybe we should use that for a trip to Ike. But that's not the next window. I wish they had given us something about... Well, there's Eve. All right, we'll take that. But more about Gilly was more of what I was thinking. God, there are more Kerbals to rescue around Mimus, but I think we've done enough of that. Science there from Surface of Eve. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, a probe. Probe can be done. I know what you guys are thinking. Um, <laughs> send the Kerbal down there. Strand a poor Kerbal to die. Um, we'll think about that. Um, the station around Ike could be useful. Ike's actually pretty nice for that. And 35 years, you know, that seems re- I mean, yeah, let's do that too when we get the next Duna window. Harvest food in space. Trivial prestige. Some, some science out of it. Yeah, why not? We, maybe we should put that on our Eve, Eve mission. Just try it out and bring it back too. We should bring it back. It's probably expensive. All right. So I think those are the coming plans. And with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.